then Harry, just, I'm gonna butcher your last name. So just Harry, kind of like Madonna, just Harry. <laughs> One name says it all. Um, Gabriel, Merrill, I, don't, I know you're probably over here somewhere. Come on up, guys. Um, and then Christy Ritter are three finalists. And just so everybody knows, um, the winners were actually chosen through the community. So we did not pick the winners. You guys picked the winners. Um, the uh, voting was actually online, and the community chose. Okay. Hopefully the winner's here. Yeah. Uh, the voting may have been based on letters in the last name, I'm not sure, but uh, <laughs> Mr. Harry has won the award. <laughs> Okay, folks, I'm gonna surprise you a little bit. I'm gonna actually write the speech, so. <laughs> <laughs> I had it memorized, but being in front of all these people, I'm like, okay. Uh, so, firstly, members of the uh, Illuminati Foundation, uh, fellow nominees, ladies and gentlemen, I'm humbled and honored to be nominated and to have won this award, and my thanks go out to those who voted and supported for me. I accept this award in memory of my three fur babies, Missy, Sophie, and Little Bear who went missing two years ago. And that's when my whole life changed and took a new path, a new direction, and when I got involved with rescue and what I feel was my calling. 20 years ago, when I was in England, I had the honor to study with a Tibetan monk. And one evening, we were talking about philosophy, and he turned around and said to me, life is not a solitary journey. Life is about the lives that we touch along the way, be they man or beast, and the positive difference we make in those lives. This is the greatest gift you can give, to give of yourself, to give of service to others. I've learned that nothing, to, that life has nothing to do with possessions. Life is about love, kindness, creativity, compassion, imagination, and doing what's right. Life is about tolerance and acceptance of others, be they man or beast, for we all share this abode on earth. To my fellow nominees and to all those that work so diligently day by day in animal rescue, animal welfare, and those that support, foster, transport, donate, and volunteer, you are that difference and you are those, that catalyst of hope for those without a voice. From my heart, I want to thank you all for your professionalism, dedication, and hard work. It is truly a service to the community and to the animals. Each day, 10,000 humans are born in the US alone. And each day, 70,000 kittens and, and uh, puppies are born in the US. As long as these rates, uh, birth rates exist, there will never be enough homes for all the animals. As a result, every year, four to six million animals in the US alone are euthanized because there are no homes for them. I wholeheartedly support spay and neuter programs and the continued work to limit the number of animals bred each year. I want to bring awareness to the plight of animals and what can be done through education, seminars and workshops with the collaboration of the public, local, state and federal government and organisations. Together we can make that change. One person can make all the difference and one united voice can move a mountain and nothing is impossible. So I want to leave you with this one quote and the quote is, we must fight against the spirit of unconscious cruelty with which we treat the animals. Animals suffer as much as we do. Truly, humanity does not allow us to impose such suffering on them. It is our duty to make the whole world recognize it. Until we extend our circle of compassion to all living things, humanity will not find peace. And that's from Albert Schweitzer. Thank you all. Thank you.